Hey everybody, I'm Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my very first meal prep video. Um, I don't know why it's taken me so long to film this. I meal prep all the time. I guess I just never really um, thought about it. But I love to meal prep. I love to have um, food on hand in the fridge ready to go so I can just heat it up and move on with my day. Um, I'm a I'm a mom and a student and um, you know I just don't have a whole lot of time so if I can just dedicate like an hour and a half or so on one day to cooking and getting everything ready and it'll save me so much time throughout the week then that is fine with me. Um, before we get into the video please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything but let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to show you how to make is a dinner casserole with sausage, cauliflower rice, and veggies. Um, the inspiration from this recipe actually came from Catherine Michelle's channel. I'll leave a link down below for the video that I'm talking about. But she made this cauliflower rice beef casserole and it looked so good and I had many of the things on hand so I thought I would give it a try and put my own spin on it. The first step in making this dinner casserole is to get an oven safe skillet and put some olive oil in it and then add about a pound of ground sausage and break that up and brown it up until it's most of the way cooked through. And then I add in a small handful of onions and season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. And you just want to cook these a little bit more until they get soft as well. Then I add in some sliced cremini mushrooms and just cook those until they've also softened and browned a little bit. You want to season the mixture again with salt and pepper and give it a good stir. Now I'm adding in some minced garlic and you only need to cook this for about 30 seconds and being careful to not burn it. Now you want to deglaze the pan with some chicken broth. Um, I didn't have any thought on hand so I just dropped in some chunks of frozen chicken broth but it's probably about a half a cup or so. Make sure that you scrape up all those yummy brown bits on the bottom of the pan because that is really good flavor and you don't want to leave that behind. Then I just let this mixture simmer for a few minutes until most of the liquid has evaporated. And I had a few different packages of cauliflower rice that I had open in the freezer and I just wanted to use these up. So you just add the, the frozen cauliflower rice straight into the pan and then stir it in. You don't really need to cook this because it's gonna go in the oven, but you do kind of wanna just warm it up a little bit and take the, um, the chill off of it. And the next thing I add is four ounces or half a brick of cream cheese that I have cubed up. Um, you can go ahead and turn the heat off at this point um, and just let the, the residual heat kind of warm up and start to soften the cream cheese. And also I add a package of frozen broccoli just straight on top and again the residual heat will kind of start to take the chill off of the broccoli a little bit but you know this is gonna go in the oven and everything will be nice and hot and bubbly. Then I like to stir in about an ounce of shredded cheese. I'm using Colby Jack here, but I mean you could probably just use whatever kind of cheese you have on hand. And here I'm just kind of gently leveling out the casserole because we're gonna be pouring a mixture on top of it and you want it even. So it's half a cup of heavy whipping cream and two eggs, which I just combine in a bowl with some salt and pepper and then I pour that directly on top of the casserole. Here I'm just kind of tilting the pan a little bit to make sure that it's nice and evenly coated. And then I'm topping it with another two ounces of cheese. Um, I don't really think it needs this much cheese on top. I think you could do two ounces in the casserole and then one ounce on top, but I mean, either way, it's gonna turn out delicious. 
And then I cover this and I put it in a 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes. And this is one of the most delicious casseroles I've ever had. And if you don't take my word for it, here's my daughter. Okay, you gonna try it? That's the best thing I've ever tasted. You really like it? It's got cauliflower rice and mushrooms and broccoli. I'm sorry, but if you were planning for this to be your lunch tomorrow, I'm gonna eat it all tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you how I make my frittata, which is just a fancy name for a skillet egg casserole, basically. In an oven safe skillet, I put in a little bit of butter and then add onions and green bell pepper. Season them both with salt and pepper and then saute them in the butter until they've cooked down a little. And then I like to add sliced mushrooms and cook those down as well. Once the mushrooms have softened, I like to add a huge bag of baby spinach. Um, this is a great way to get extra veggies into your day without just eating salad, but I'll cook that down until it basically disappears like so. The next thing I add is six servings of bacon. I just cook it ahead of time and then I'll crumble it and add it to the pan. Lastly, we are gonna add some quartered cherry tomatoes. I like to do this at the very end because they really don't need to cook very long, maybe like 30 seconds or so. And then in a bowl or Tupperware, I combine 12 eggs with a quarter cup of heavy cream and some salt and pepper. Then you just wanna add that mixture to the pan and give it a little stir so that everything is you know, evenly distributed throughout the eggs. And here I'm adding the other four ounces of cream cheese from earlier to the frittata. Um, I think that this is really, really delicious in it. You get kind of little you know, pockets of melty cream cheese when you're eating the frittata and it's so good. But I just kind of smoosh them in a little bit so that they are coated in the egg mixture. And then I just bake it uncovered for 30 minutes in a 350 degree oven, and it is so delicious. The beauty of making a frittata or egg casserole like this is that you can cook it and then cut up the portions that you need, keep the portions in the refrigerator, and then pull them out and warm up You know, one serving of it for breakfast, and it is good to go. For snack options, I always like to have a little bit of fruit and strawberries, since they're so low carb, are a go-to for me. I always like to have nuts on hand too. I think that they're an awesome, you know, salty, crunchy little snack to have. Then I take this grass-fed sharp cheddar from Trader Joe's and I will slice it up and have it with some of this gourmet pepperoni. I also got this from Trader Joe's and it is so good. It's one of the best tasting pepperonis I've ever had. And lastly, here I have six hard-boiled eggs. And that is my meal prep for this week. I love that I can just have all of this food in the fridge ready to go and easy to heat up and it saves me so much time and the food is delicious. And that was my meal prep. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will catch you in my next video. Bye everyone.